Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here on 9 News Watch. Going to get into details about uh, c climate change specifically, and I'm going to uh, start things off with a bit of an anecdotal story uh, about what's kind of leading to this. So this week, right um, outside today, we've already hit 60 degrees here in Denver. It's December the 20th. Winter officially begins in just a few hours tomorrow morning. What's happening, right? It's been an unusually warm going back to yesterday at 61, 60 today. We're giving the 60s basically all week long, right? Okay, so at this point we know it's exceptionally mild this week leading up to Christmas. So, um, anecdotal stories. I tweeted that yesterday morning and I got bombarded with replies about people saying, wait, why are you not talking about climate change? This is the work of climate change. And the quick answer is no, or we don't at least explicitly know that those warm temperatures are being driven by climate change. So let me explain. There's a big difference between, of course, climate and weather. When we're talking about climate change, we're talking about our average weather over a period of time changing. So, for example, in the last 50 to 100 years, Denver's average temperature has been, uh, has climbed by about a degree or two Fahrenheit, probably close to about two degrees Fahrenheit, and same statewide for the state of Colorado. Colorado. Uh, statewide, our average temperature has changed by a degree and a half to two degrees. Now take a look at this forecast. This is certainly a very, very toasty forecast. Our average high for this time of year is 43 degrees, and we're going to be way above that over the next few days and the next few weeks. So um, the reason I bring that up is, yes, climate change could have a subtle factor. We don't explicitly know how much of a factor that could have, but we do know that the climate overall is warming. And I'll have some more numbers that really correlate to that here in just a second. But this week, and this is an important point, and I want to be clear about this, um, with or without a warming climate, it's very, very likely, if not a certainty, that this week would have been considerably warmer than average. The weather pattern that we have in place right now is a big ridge of high pressure. We have downsloping winds off of the Rockies. That is what's leading to this week specifically being warmer. So. Um, something I, again, I just want to be clear about is that yes, climate change could have a factor. Um, if it did have an influence, it would likely be a subtle one, be a degree or two. We'd be perhaps 58 or 59 as opposed to 60 or 61. So I just, again, want to kind of put that out there in the fact of, um, it's important to be accurate when we're talking about climate change. I don't mean to blame anybody who maybe tweeted me or might think, you know, uh, a warmer day like this one is the product of climate change. I want to be clear about the fact that it's likely not, and if there is an influence, it'd be a very subtle one. So I'll show you some numbers that really do matter, though. These are the numbers that matter when we're talking about climate change. So in Denver, so far this year, from June the 1st to November the 30th, over a long period of time, this is about a 200-day period, Denver's average temperature was about 65 and a half degrees. That is by far, that was by, uh, that was by far our warmest June the 1st through November the 30th on record. When you're talking about that long of a time period, yes, that is likely at least partially the influence of climate change. Then you look at this. Since June the 1st, Denver's picked up less than two inches of total rain and snow. We all know has basically not snowed so far this season here. These are the numbers that matter when you're talking about climate change. And then you kind of broaden things on out and you look at the fact that Denver has warmed up by about an average of 50 degrees over uh, 50 degrees, uh, about two degrees over the last 50 to 75 years. That again, those are your numbers that are being directly driven by a warming climate. But once again, to bring back up here, the difference between climate and weather, climate is uh, over a period of time Again, hottest or coldest year or decade or even six month period on record. And then day to day, this week being warm. No, 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 that, uh, that is due to a local weather pattern. But again, going back to what we talked about, you might remember that the beginning of the year was exceptionally cold and snowy here in Denver. Uh, I wouldn't even say exceptionally, it was colder and snowier than average. We had all that snow back in March. Specifically, we picked up about 32 inches of snow back during the month of March. And then it turned very, very dry and very, very warm. But you take a look at the year overall, and we're in our top 10 warmest years on record here in Denver, despite the fact that we started off on a very cold and chilly um, and snowy note, uh, the first five months of the year on um, each of those first five months of the year, J January, February, March, April, May, all those finished with below average month, uh, monthly average temperatures. So we had that combined with 
just a blazing hot and dry final six months of the year, uh, seven months of the year, that is the product there. Um, and you average it out and we're in the top 10 warmest years on record. That is the product of climate change. But again, this week being warm, um, that is not the impact of climate change. Or if it is, it's a very subtle one. So again, just want to be clear about that because it is an important distinction. Um, when you start putting false equivalences, for example, you know, let's say next week it turns cold and it snows, we got way below average temperatures. Somebody who denies the signs of climate change could go out and say, well, what climate change? What are you talking about? Um, it's important to be accurate about things. So again, I just, I don't mean this as a, a huge soapbox thing, but I know that this week in particular with the, and I'm going to pull back up the forecast here, the next seven days we're going to be talking about temperatures again running close to uh, 20 degrees above average, that the thought of climate change could certainly be bandied about. But again, just to dispel that notion and be fully accurate about it, I want to be clear that this is not the product of climate change. When you look at long-term averages, again, these are the sorts of numbers that matter. When you're talking about a 65 and a half degree average temperature from June the 1st to November the 30th, that being by far warmest six-month period on record here in Denver, um, or, or over that six-month time period, that's the number that matters. These longer term averages matter. Again, bone dry since June the 1st, that's likely the influence of climate change. We get these feedback loops and uh, we get these warmer temperatures. It's usually a very dry air mess. And uh, unfortunately, that's likely leading to our drought here in the Denver area. So again, just to go back to it and explain the difference between climate and weather, there you go. This week, not the impact of climate change, a very warm, very dry, long-term period here in Denver. That is the product of climate change. So hopefully, um, again, I don't mean this um, uh, to, to attack anybody. Um, I just want to, again, clarify to people out there who may be joining us and may not, again, it's my job to know the difference between climate and weather. It's not yours. So um, I don't mean that any sort of attack um, latent way. I just mean it to hopefully clarify things and so that way we all know and are a bit more educated about the difference between climate and weather. And by the way, thanks for joining us here. Again, very important um, distinction there, but and Chief Meteorologist uh, Kathy Sabin will join us here at 9 News on the 9 News family of networks for the 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10 forecast later on tonight, talking about that warmer weather and also maybe some snow later on this week into the mountains. We'll have more on that coming up. In the meantime, I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi, and thanks for joining us here on 9 News Watch.